I love the fact that our pumpkin pie comes from right out of our field from a pumpkin we've grown and harvested and cooked and baked. Oh, perfect. It's perfect, guys. Ooh. It's a month from Thanksgiving, but Mary Jane Roof is already in the holiday spirit. This came from a pumpkin in our field. Enjoying the morning harvest with her neighbor, Kristen Dunn, and Kristen's children, Macy and Matthew. My favorite dessert for Thanksgiving has always been pumpkin pie. There's just something about Thanksgiving meal doesn't seem complete until you've had a piece of pumpkin pie with whipped cream on top. Here at Brookfield Pumpkins in Frederick County, it's clear farmers Sam and Mary Jane Roop have a real appreciation for pumpkins that goes beyond pumpkin pie. Picking a pumpkin on this 13-acre farm is like being a kid in a candy shop. There are 30 to 40 different varieties of pumpkins, squash, and gourds to choose from. People love to come out to the patch and find, you know, round, squatty ones, tall, thin ones, bumpy ones. We even have some that are pink called porcelain dolls. And just people love that we have a big variety. And it's like going on a hunt to go out to the field to find all the different types. But if you're picking a pumpkin for your Thanksgiving dessert, you might want to keep your eyes out for this particular variety. This is the type that is really good for making pumpkin pies. It's a sugar pumpkin, has a higher sugar content. Let's see what else we have. Sam and Mary Jane and their three children started raising all types of pumpkins and gourds 21 years ago. But their farming heritage traces back much further. This farm has been in my family for over 100 years. My children were the sixth generation to be raised on this farm. And my husband farms wheat, corn, soybeans. We have a herd of Angus cattle, and we sell freezer beef and keeps us very busy. With 300 acres of crops to manage, they're busy year round on the farm. But it's this time of year that they're able to connect with the community. It's always heartwarming to see familiar faces on the farm, something they look forward to every year and are truly grateful for. It truly warms our heart when people tell us they've been, they've been coming here for 20 years and they've brought the next generation and we see the children grow up. It's a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Today is an extra special day for one little boy and his family. It's a birthday celebration for John Paul Foley V, and it's his first time at the farm. So what does the birthday boy have to look forward to on his first visit? They're just going to run around and probably get in trouble, and they have that corn table in there that they enjoy and the hay ride, so they'll have a good time. A hayride out to the pumpkin patch was definitely on the agenda for little Johnny, but it looks like Mother Nature had other plans. You know, they come for the experience, whether it's raining or it's sunny, they just, they love being here. They love picking pumpkins. They love being here with their family. And we love the wonderful customers that we have. There's more than one way to pick a pumpkin on a rainy day. Where there's a will, there's a way. This little fellow wasn't gonna let the rain dampen his mood, and neither were Sam and Mary. Yeah, there was a lot of big pumpkins coming out of there. And morning. they were clean pumpkins. They were clean they pumpkins were clean. from the rain. <laughs> <laughs> but some prefer the small ones. Because no two pumpkins are alike, it may take little Johnny some time before he decides which pumpkin he goes home with today. 